Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Deep2 Image node. And additionally, I'm gonna be going over uh, the compositing workflow using the Deep Image ecosystem. Because there may be some confusion on using Deep Pixels and compositing, and mainly around these nodes right here, which are the Deep to Points, using the camera, using the Merge 3D, and our Render 3D node. So I'm gonna cover my workflow and why I use these. And just as a reminder, it's not necessarily the workflow, because just like every other ecosystem in Fusion, there's a million ways to do things, and the right way is the way you feel comfortable and the way you do it to get the results you need to get. So I'm gonna show you my workflow of using deep pixel data for compositing. And for members, I'm gonna upload these files so uh, you can use them to uh, practice. Just remember not to use them for commercial purposes, but they'll be over in a post. You can go ahead and grab the link and download them if you want. So we've been using this deep to points and all these node breakdowns we've been doing when we're discussing our deep image uh, ecosystem and as a reminder our deep to points just gives us this 3d render of our points using that deep pixel data to put it properly in the z depth or z space and this isn't necessarily something you use and carry on to complete your compositing meaning we're not going to come out of this render and complete all of our compositing of everything we do there's no need for it the whole point to this is to use as a stage to kind of uh, set up your props correctly. So to kind of demonstrate that, I'm just going to disconnect this and move this over. And the way we normally do compositing is we have our deep image data and we're going to bring in a D merge. So it's around this merge that all of our uh, images are going to be composited. And if you remember right, we had this footage that we used the other day of our stock green screen, which we added to a key here and did some color corrected. And then we changed it into a deep image and added a D transform. So she was transformed in that Z space. So if I bring this transform into the D merge and we look at our merge node, you can see she is correctly in our uh, little world there. And if I go to our D transform node, I can still uh, translate her on the Z, bring her back, bring her forward, do whatever I need to do. And I don't need that deep to points to do that. So let's go ahead and put her back where she belongs. Additionally, it's in here that we're doing any other compositing. So like we did the recolor node, let's go ahead and add a D recolor. And let's bring in our little recolor footage which is here. So in Blender, I just created another look and this is just a flat PNG file. There's no deep data, there's no nothing. But if you remember right, our D recolor node uses color images to recolor our actual pixel data. So all we have to do, if we look at our D merge, we bring this new color information into our recolor. It just recolored all of our pixels. And if we look at our deep points node, you can see all of our pixels are recolored accordingly. So let's disconnect that again. So in our compositing, say we want to bring something like smoke or something in, I could uh, simply bring in a smoke image, which I use this one. And let me go ahead and add a Lumicure on it. So now we've got our smoke. And after this, I could add a image to deep. So now our smoke is in our deep image ecosystem. And I could bring in a D transform and then connect that to our merge. And if I look at our merge, now I've got that smoke there. And if I go to my D transform, I can uh, transform it back in Z space. I can uh, change the scale because it's kind of large and I could try to line it up with that little uh, urn in the back so we've got smoke coming out of it which looks okay if I play it 
how it kind of looks like smoke's coming out of there, but it may or may not be in our world correctly. So that's where our deep two points node comes in. So if I reconnect our main scene to our deep to points and add another deep to points, I can connect our smoke. Connect our little camera and bring this into our merge. And if I look at our merge, I can now see that smoke in there and you can see it's really not correctly in our space. So that's what all this little area right here is for. So we can properly place our uh, media. So if I look, our smoke is way off, but I can come in here and take our D transform move our smoke back to where it belongs and bring it down so it's sitting inside that urn correctly. And uh, let's go ahead and move it over. So now our smoke is in that urn. So then I can disconnect all these and go back to our demerge scene. And now our composite is correct and our smoke is in the correct location. So if I wanted to add another one up front, I could just grab a, another smoke, bring it in. I could copy this. Add another D transform. I can bring that into our merge. And let me go ahead and change our scale up because I know it's going to be too large. But I could bring this over. Bring it up. And now if I want to make sure I get that smoke correctly in this urn, all I have to do is connect my main scene to that deep to points node. I can just reuse this original deep to points node from the other smoke, bring that in. If I go to my merge, Can uh, try to find our smoke here. And there it is. And now I've got that smoke sitting inside that urn correctly. So I can just disconnect these again. Look at our merge. And uh, now if I play, our smoke is setting in there correctly. So that's the proper way to composite your deep image data uh, images. And the whole point to this deep to points with your camera and your merge and your 3D note. Now, once you've got your composite set up the way you want, you would want to use your deep to image node and go from your demerge out to your deep to image. So now you're setting in the 2D world and it's normal, it's flat, but you do still have, if we go to channels, you still have that Z depth right here, as well as your alpha, your RGB channels. And on your deep to image node, you have flip depth so you can flip your depth. And you have this volumetric composition, which in my experience makes no difference of whether it's checked or unchecked, even if you're using strictly volumetric compositions like smoke or particles or anything that has volume in it, 
it's all going to look the same. So I really don't understand the point to this button. If anyone knows, please let me know, enlighten me. But if you notice our image to deep comes out of our demerge, but we cannot use that coming out of our 3D merge. Additionally, we can't go from our deep to points straight to our deep to image. It doesn't operate that way. You can go from your render, which is deep image to deep image if you wanted to, but uh, the true purpose of this is to go from your final demerge of your composite and bring it back down to regular 2D image. So that is the deep image workflow for uh, compositing using deep image and deep pixel data. And uh, as well as your breakdown for your deep to image node, I will see you in the next note breakdown.